Hey, this is Chris from 40 Thrive, and I wanted to share a quick little thought with you. First of all, Merry Christmas. Um, just saw a billboard, and it said, Go green, eat a plant, in a picture of an avocado, and it was uh, funded by, I don't know, uh, some company that uh, looked like it was geared towards... Uh, encouraging a plant-based diet and as we all know the plant-based diet seems to be pretty big right now and I have to be wary and I would encourage you to be very wary of uh, things that all of a sudden the mainstream gets behind I mean when was the last time that the mainstream got behind something and it seemed it was very uh, in in our best interest. I mean, I, I can't think of very many instances with that. Uh, anytime someone's trying to herd a large group of people to do one thing, it very much feels like we are being treated as sheep or cattle. And if you want to follow the incentive behind a whole plant-based movement, you should follow the money. Follow subsidized agriculture. Now, I'm not saying that eating clean, healthy, organic fruits and possibly some vegetables is bad for you. But if we're talking about all this GMO bioengineered nonsense that is finding its way into our store shelves ultra-processed foods, uh, if you're going to count eating a bunch of Nabisco crackers as a plant-based diet, uh, I'm afraid you're being sold a bill of goods. When was the last time? We know for a fact that, okay, I know keto and carnivore is sort of a fringe diet, but even the most mainstream of people could possibly attest to the fact that it's been shown to prove, even if, even if, most people are blind to this fact. There, there's enough evidence even making its way over to the uh, mainstream to show that extreme elimination diets such as carnivore and whole clean keto, keto for have their benefits. But you don't hear about those. But everyone's pushing for this plant-based thing. You don't see any billboards saying eat your meat. Okay, maybe for a long time, uh, if you can remember far back enough, there was a campaign, you know, pork the other white meat. Um, maybe here and there you might see a sponsored ad from, you know, the American Dairy Association or something to that effect. But when has there been an all-meat movement? You won't see that because something like that would... That would, too many people would wake up to the fact that, oh my God, when I'm not bombarding my system with a bunch of processed nonsense, I don't need all the pharmaceutical stuff that is being thrust in my face. Um, all this is just to remind you to be wary because I'm not saying that carnivore or keto is the cure to everything, but I do believe that the cure to everything lies within your power, and there is very, very little that you need to rely on a doctor or drugs for if first you are treating your body with what it needs, and that is the nutrients that it needs, and that is eliminating all the extra garbage that it can't handle. Imagine you're trying to do a job. Your job is to take this raw material and build it into widgets. Okay, pretty straightforward. However, imagine I ask you to do 14 other jobs and then you're gonna blame the job. You're gonna blame the position. You're gonna 
blame the, the factory, you're gonna blame the materials coming in, but it's none of that. It's all the extra crap that you are refusing to let go of, AKA soft drinks, AKA processed sugars, juices, uh, unnecessary refined uh, grains, and uh, 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 let's go further deeper uh, into emulsifiers, into preservatives, into colorings, into dyes, into uh, flavor enhancers, all those things that we don't think about. You see this neat little package of a granola bar and it's uh, oh so attractively labeled as a health food and you see healthy things in it like oh it's got pomegranate seeds in it or it's got uh, chia or flax and you see those good things good things you don't take into account that oh okay you know and maybe you might see how oh, it's made with honey oh, honey's supposed to be good right um, but you're not taking into account that throughout the day you're eating 40 other things that have the same preservatives, emulsifiers, uh, uh, texture enhancers. All this stuff gets washed out. Anything that you're putting into your body that you feel is beneficial is being washed out by all this crap. So don't fall for the plant-based bullshit. Don't fall for any sort of bullshit that, that is being touted as a superfood. It's, there's no magic bullet. All you can do is stop eating this modern American standardized diet. It's all pesticides. It's all processed. It's all disruptive to our bodies. I've had people come back over from the UK come over from Europe and tell me how they could eat the same pastas and eat the same breads over in Europe and they don't feel half the detrimental effects as they feel here in the United States because their foods aren't being doused with glyphosates and pesticides and uh, stripped down to their bare uh, elements more or less and then having to put the nutrients back into it just because it's supposed to meet a daily requirement did you know that in the United States that uh, nearly all products um, uh, made with flour or wheat have to be enriched in other words they have to have uh, the nutrients added back in. It, there's a there's a, a federal guideline that says you must add back in so much, and it. it but it's not. It's not. The, 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 these guidelines don't know what else you're eating that have all these things added back into them. So it can't be accountable for all that you're putting into your system. Okay, and this is to say that, look, maybe uh, the Department of Agriculture or the uh, Food and Drug Administration, maybe they're, they're not these evil things, okay? Maybe they're well-intended, but the point is we can't allow them, these big entities, to be accountable for our own health. And the only way that you can truly, truly guarantee that you are not overloading your system and disrupting your system and disrupting your body's balance is to get back to eating a pure whole food diet. We all know that trying to eat organic and uh, fresh from farm to table can be quite difficult and expensive these days. So that leaves you with two options, eating all meat or eating all meat and some fruit occasionally because fruit tends to be less inflammatory than uh, vegetables and things of that nature. So there you go. That's, that's what's on my mind after seeing a plant-based diet billboard.
Cheers.